Joe Monahan. I am currently the president of La Marzocco USA. I've personally been involved with the company since roughly 1980 when I was wooed to come to work for a man by the name of Kent Pocky, who to this day is my best friend and business partner. Uh, my first memory of Alinea was Kent unboxing one and saying, this is the new machine we have for sale. And we were waiting for it with anticipation. And I remember looking at it and going, that's it? We're doomed. No one's ever going to like this machine. It's too plain. It's too heavy. It's too boxy. We're doomed for sure. It's going to fail. Obviously, I was wrong. 25 years later, is that how long it's been? 25 years later, obviously, I was very wrong. Back then, La Marzocco traditionally would build one series or one line of machines. Uh, when we first started selling machines, we were working with a machine called the GS. It was replaced in the mid-80s by what was called the GS2, and then eventually with the linea, which literally means line or series. So. That's what it was. We didn't know. It was kind of controversial because Piero Bambi, the original designer, always said it represented the straight lines of the machine versus what traditionally had been curves or curvy type machines, more contour to the design. So I've never been really clear which it exactly meant. I know it triggered one of my pet peeves about the machine, which is the pronunciation of the machine. We have always affectionately referred to it as the linea here in Seattle and in the U.S. and would frequently get corrected by Piero and the other Italians that it's really pronounced linea. Well, as we tried to correct the Americans here and how to say linea, it suddenly morphed into linea. For a while, I put a tagline in my email signature that said, it's pronounced linea. And I got a lot of comments about that, so I know people read it. Seems to be pretty much linear now through and through with all the linear love.